Hello and welcome to Tasting with Mike and Matt. I'm Mike Veach and this is my partner in crime, Matt Cohorst. Howdy. And today we are tasting a new rye whiskey that was sent to me from a guy that has a connection on LinkedIn. He is the distiller at the Hard Truth Distillery in Nashville, Indiana, in Brown County. And he wanted to know if I'd be interested in, you know, tasting and reviewing one of his products. So he sent me a bottle. And I'm really glad I did. Because this is really good rye whiskey. It's called Hard Truth Sweet Mash Rye. Uh, it's got some great information on it. The barrel uh, proof here of this whiskey is 115.2, which indicates to me that he goes in at a lower than 125 proof. Mm -hmm. um, it's a batch of 30 barrels that was uh, dumped on 10 14 21. And it's, you know, no age statement. And I uh, love the bottle. It's got that 1930s cool. and 40s. And I don't know if it shows up on the camera, but there's a really nice embossment on the back. It says, distilled with the finest grains and in water, Indiana's Sweet Mash Pioneers. Which, you know, I don't know. if it, I guess in Indiana, they might be a pioneer of Sweet Mash. Sweet Mash. You, <laughs> you, know, yeah. you know, we know Peerless and uh, um, Wilderness, Wilderness Trail. Trail have been doing Sweet Mash for years here now. But, uh, that's Kentucky. It's not but that's Kentucky. Yeah. So, you know, but I, I tell you, we t I tasted this with Susan the other day. Mm -hmm. and she, I really liked it. She was like, you know, blew her socks off. Oh, really? Good. And I think this is a really good whiskey. As a matter of fact, I may uh, do this as my uh, whiskey of the month for February. That's impressive. Yeah. And did, you didn't know much of this guy before Link? I, yeah. I, so it's just like a I never, I never nowhere. even knew there was a distillery in in Brown County, Nashville, Tennessee, uh, Indiana, until, until he contacted me. And I'm glad he did. As a matter of fact, I think he said he's going to try to be down here in Louisville here in the next week or two. And when he does, I told him, I said, well, you need to come over and have a drink with me. Definitely. So yeah. I'm hoping that he does. And, and if, if he comes on a day that you might be available, I'll let you know. You can come over and yeah. meet him, too. Yeah, let's, hope, let's hope that works out. Yeah. yeah. So, I mean, look at that color. It's, you know... For a four-year-old whiskey, that's got a real nice dark straw, almost amber color. Yeah. 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 And the Lots nose. Of, yeah. Complex nose. Yeah, you get that rye grass that you get with most ryes. Right. Which, gosh, I just love that. Yeah. And then immediately, like... Yeah, you get, you get yeah. some vanilla, you get a little... little fruit. Mm-hmm. Peaches? Peaches, apricot, apricots, but it's more than that. I, I'm actually getting maybe just a, just a hint of dates. Yeah, dates. A floral note in there or something. Yeah, yeah a little I'm floral. Not great at like, the, you know, deciphering. The yeah, floral. the floral notes are really hard for me. But I tell you, you know what I almost get out of this? Honeysuckle. Yeah. Little little bit of that honey note, mm -hmm. floral. Mm hmm. Get a little bit of the uh, the oak in there. Oh, yeah. this yeah, is just yeah, a really good whiskey. Going on. Let's taste it. Oh, wow. Definitely. It's almost like a French vanilla ice cream. It's so good. Yeah. Yeah. And then you get that fruit. You're getting, you know, peaches. You're getting a little, maybe a little bit of lemon zest, a little bit of berries. Mm -hmm. Dates, something. Cher maybe it's cherries or dates. I'm, I'm not sure. You know, like a I sour like cherry. Cherries, yeah. Sour cherry, not sweet cherry, but sour cherry. Mm -hmm. Not like a marchino, but like a, you know, a, a sour cherry that you get in that at a cherry pie. Yeah, I think like this ranks up there with me. It's like the first time I tasted like the George Washington rye. Um, oh, that is a compliment because George Washington rye is so good. Yeah, and the Wilderness Trail rye. Yeah, you know, I, I love both of those. <clears throat> kind of fell in love with those rides immediately. And that's well, you know, they're only an hour and a half away from here. When it gets warmer, on a Saturday, uh, maybe we ought to head up to visit this guy and see his distillery. We need to, yeah. 
Yeah, I mean, look at how cool the the, the bottles are. Yeah. Right? I mean, the guy's the guy's got like, some taste. Yeah, he does. Yeah, he's doing not only a great right? palate, but you know, like I said, that bottle yeah, design I think is just cool. Yeah, it is. It's a great looking bottle. Yeah. But man, the finish. I'm still getting finish. Mm-hmm. And it's oak, a little bit of that spice. Mm -hmm. But uh, lingering peaches and, you know, dates, cherry, whatever. Yeah, it just kind of sits there. Mm -hmm. I mean, it just keeps going on and on. Well, let's see what a cranberry does for it. Oh, that really brings out that fruit. Fruit. Almost brandy like. It is kinda of almost brandy like. And then and then but you still get that nice rye grass yeah. in there. Um that little oak. Mean, like, little oak, a little cinnamon, baking spice. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's it's just a, it's a it's just a great blend of all these flavors yeah. together. Oh, let's try it with a pecan. Change it up a, a lot for me. Yeah, milk chocolate. Milk chocolate. Yeah, I'm even getting a little orange in there. A little like, orange? Mm-hmm. Sounds like a, one of those orange chocolates that you get mm -hmm. for, like, you know, like buy a, a box of chocolates, you know? Um, you know what kind of reminds me of? An old-fashioned with a really good orange bitters. Ooh, ooh yeah. Mm-hmm. You can definitely see that. Um, the finish is great, too. It's oh, yeah. Kind of, yeah. It's even stronger than it was. It's rich. Before. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's rich. It's great mouthfeel. Mm -hmm. You know, it's not hot at all. There's a nice, pleasant warmth going down, but right. there's no burn at all. Mm -hmm. So I, I'm very curious to see what his bourbon's like. Is it, does he have a uh, bourbon? I'm sure he probably does. Working on something? That's awesome. Yeah. So when he comes down here, I need to talk to him and see what I can do. See if I can... Get him to send me some bottles for a review. All right. Yeah, I got a feeling if he sends me a bourbon, I may be doing him as Whiskey of the Month for February and March. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Great, Great stuff. stuff. Yeah, just out of nowhere. Wow. Yeah. You know? All I got to say is, you know, uh, Mr. Bishop, Mr. Fruits, you got some competition there in Indiana <laughs> for making some great whiskey. Right. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers.